So hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today my friends I'm very happy to be here to present you another Power of Exile video and more precisely today I'm uh, gonna uh, show you my uh, Toxic Rain Totem uh, Pathfinder uh, build guide. Okay, uh, It's uh, the build that uh, we have been uh, playing for the past few weeks now and uh, I think it came out really nicely and that's why we are doing this uh, build guide but before we even start start i mean i want to say big thanks to nikio because uh, he has like yeah provided a few items for this uh, uh, build for sure and nephilim uh, for sure as always helping us to improve uh, this uh, build with uh, some tips and stuff you know just to uh, make it a bit stronger and a uh, tankier so thank you so much for uh, this to them okay uh, and as always with every uh, build guide that we have uh, done i'm gonna put the links of the path of building the official version and also the fork version that means the community version i'm gonna put the links under the description so that you can copy paste it into your uh, browser or your path of building um, uh, program and you can just uh, copy the build as you please okay so and we are then gonna start with pros and the cons then we are gonna go to the skill jams to the gear and the flask then we are gonna uh, go on with the skill tree and the remainings and then we are gonna end up with how i play it and as always with a tier 16 uh, map that i'm just gonna play so that you can see how this uh, build behaves so my friends let's not uh, lose too much time or waste too much time and let's go for the pros and the cons let's go So my friends, for the pros and the cons, we are just going to start with the pros. The first pro and the best one uh, for this build is actually that you can do every map mod with this build. I mean, uh, uh, you can do physical reflection, elemental reflection, you can do them all. For sure, there are a few map mods that are harder for you than others, but uh, at the end of the day, you can do them all, to my knowledge, okay? So the second uh, thing is that this is a range uh, build. Uh, that means you don't need to go uh, for close combat personally. I prefer to play close combat builds, okay, uh, if you know uh, me uh, for a bit and you have watched a few of my build guides, you see that I am always doing a cyclone build every uh, league because I love it, but if you uh, play it well, it's a range build, you don't die a lot if you stay uh, uh, far from your, uh, your, your monsters and the bosses, so the far, uh, further you are from them, so the less likely you are to get hit uh, by them so that's that's logic okay then uh, you, this build does good damage really you i can't complain uh, i mean uh, uh, bosses go down in a few seconds really also uh, then we go for the next point already also it's a fast mapper i mean uh, you just put one time your toxic rain and you go th uh, through it really you kill everything um the the um, the damage on this build is really nice and uh, also because of your uh, mirage ar uh, archer okay uh, the mirage archer is an amazing thing that means if you put your toxic rain the mirage archer it's a girl looks like a, a woman that is gonna uh, spawn on your hat uh, like greenish uh, and is gonna like uh, do your skill uh, for a few seconds okay uh, she's gonna copy it with less damage but more than enough to just uh, like clear the map so um, it's 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 a nice uh, build uh, for mapping because also because of the mirage archer uh, you, uh, you're gonna clear the whole the whole map i mean myself i always when i end the map there is less than 10 uh, monsters remaining so that's very nice then it's a very mobile uh, build as i said already in the last point actually you just put your toxic rain and you run through she is gonna do everything your mirror uh, like your um your, your your copy of yourself you know uh is gonna do everything uh, for you and uh, only at uh, the bosses you have to stop one 
time more because you're gonna put down your um, your totems uh, so that you can uh, put the debuff on the boss so you kill it even faster. Then uh, you don't need a lot of currency to make this work. I mean, you even with a bit of currency or a minimum of a minimum of uh, currency, you can make this work. Really, there is no really expensive man mandatory uh, item that you need. Okay, uh, I mean, and uh, there we go. We will go also um, to the last uh, point. Is actually that there is much room for min maxing. I mean, those two points now they come close together why because i mean if you have a uh, little currency your build is gonna be decent okay you will still be able to uh, do tier 16 maps and so on but if you are like a champ at making currency and you have a lot of currency you can make like a, a toxic rain build that is like really pock okay so really that is a positive point in my opinion okay so uh, you can uh, really go for this build then we are gonna go over to the cons. There are two uh, negative points that I have to tell you. It's a very squishy uh, build. First of all, uh, I mean, if you play it passive and uh, defensive, you will not die. But if you start to get greedy, just like me, or you're clo you're you're uh, used to play close combat builds, you will die a lot because you go close to the monster. So, uh, I mean, if, but if you play a defensive, it's okay. But it's a very squishy build. Uh, signs also for the ult like the ultimatums. Uh, you will have a lot of uh, problems if you start uh, if you start to to stop like for one or two seconds. Um, everything is going to rip you. Okay, then uh, the last one is that you rely pretty much on the flasks. Okay, uh, since our ascendancy is pretty much like uh, all about the flasks. So whenever one of your flasks is active, you will have uh, improved attack speed. You will have improved attack damage. Uh, I mean damage. Then also your anointment on your um, amulet is uh, also that you uh, will have fortify uh, activated while uh, there is a flask charge being used and so on so you see already that um, this build or while you you are playing this build you will need to be like having your flask always activated that's very important uh, if you want to do uh, damage and survive um, but you see already that this is going to be a problem for like long boss uh, fights for example like Sirius you will uh, get out of uh, flash charges pretty much fast and so you will lack on a bit of damage and also on surviving but still you can manage to do it I mean I with this build I have done Sirius I didn't try the Sirius Awakened 8 but I think Awakened 6 was no problem at all if you know the mechanics of the boss um, naturally so uh, we are done with the pros and cons and now let's go for the skill jams let's go so my friends now uh, for the skill jams i mean i'm gonna go a bit faster over this since uh, you have the power of building a link that you can just uh, paste into your uh, program and then you can just copy it uh, like you please but i'm gonna show you so uh, on our bow we are gonna have like awakened fishes uh, projectile support okay the normal one will do it also but if you can afford uh, go for it then we have an awakened avoid manipulation support okay the normal one also works perfectly but this is better then we have our mirage archer okay very important linked with our conk effect support okay and toxic rain very important here if you can afford the 21 23 for sure go for it okay then we have uh, our uh, empower support okay if you can afford uh, level four for sure if not you can go for a lower one then we go over to our helmet where we have a lightened support together with clarity malvolence and uh, summon skitter uh, bots but what is very important here clarity check by yourself how much you can afford i mean for me level four uh, is 
where I uh, find or I uh, feel myself uh, pretty much uh, uh, comfortable, okay, uh, because of the reservation of mana. Um, you don't have a lot of uh, mana on reserved, so you will have to see. I mean, level 4 really works uh, fine for me. Then we have our uh, body armor, where we have like uh, 4... Um, uh, four linked gems here and then two here so we have the second wind linked with a dash okay blood rage and enhanced support okay those are the four that we have together okay here and then i have my portal gem together with an enhanced support because yeah I had the free spot and the only thing that I see here logical is that uh, to make my portal even faster okay then on our uh, pair of gloves we have a steel skin with uh, together with cast one damage taken uh, summon chaos golem and increase duration what is very important is that we want cast one damage taken on level 20 okay and steel skin the thing is you uh, if you can afford go to level 20 thing is i'm lagging on a strength to level it up so if you can do it go for level 20 no need to stop to level it at level 17 and then the last one is actually uh, we are having uh, a faster casting together with multiple uh, totems spell totem and wither the uh, wither i have it at level 8 okay so that should be pretty much um uh, okay to have it at level eight because of the mana costs and stuff okay what is also uh what i have here i'm gonna also tell you i have here an um a maximum life uh, eye jewel uh, with increased damage if you have killed recently and increased attack speed increased attack speed is very very important for this build so uh, we are done now with the skill jumps let's go with the cure and the flasks let's go so my friends uh, here we are at uh, gear and flasks let's start with the gear so here you can see i have a bow uh, where i have an enchantment of quality does not increase physical damage uh, increased like one percent increased attack speed per eight percent quality i mean uh, why we don't need physical damage we are not doing physical damage or very little we don't need it uh, but the attack speed as i said before is very important then we have a double implicit if you can afford it uh, to go for a synthesized uh, bow like this i mean with uh, increased chaos damage and increased damage with poison for sure then we have plus one to level of socketed gems what is pock my friends and then we have damage over time uh, multiplier because we are doing damage over time increase attack speed as i said very important and then we have uh, our craft of uh, plus two to level of socketed support gems also very important and to chaos damage over time multiplier as i said damage over time that's our our damage okay then we have our helmet where we have like uh, uh, grants level 20 aspect of the spider skill if you can afford if you can make it that you uh, can on reserve that much mana and then you can uh, like use the spider skill what would like really really be nice because then um <clears throat> it's a thing or it's a it's an aura yeah an aura that um, really helps you uh, survive uh, by slowing your opponents or your monsters or the bosses and so on so uh, yeah then we have uh, chaos damage to spells with life very important chaos resistance nearby and that's the the best about the, uh, about this helmet is uh, nearby enemies have uh, minus 9% to care resistance. Very important. And then we have live and increase energy shield. Okay. Science, this is an energy shield based uh, helmet. Then um, as our um, quiver, we have a global uh, critical strike chance as implicit with chaos damage over time. Okay. Uh, then plus 2% to, per, uh, to maximum chaos resistance resistance what is if you can afford it go for it science we are using 
one of the reasons why we are using that let me see if i find it instantly we are yeah we are using divine flash as you can see all damage taken bypasses energy shield and 50 percent of elemental take uh, damage taken as chaos damage so we do we take a lot of chaos damage okay uh so this is very important and you see five percent to maximum chaos resistance plus the two that we get from this item is <coughs> pog <coughs> sorry then we have curse resistance our increased movement speed also a big a good bonus but you don't need it then we have increased attack speed then we have uh, um, this in unique uh, body armor we don't need to talk much about it then we have an amulet uh, with an onyx amulet is always nice because of the implicit uh, to all attributes go for it and we have our allocation uh, hardened, hardened uh, scars as I said before you have fortify while recovering life from a life flask very very um nice uh, really then um yeah sorry uh, chaos damage over uh, over time uh, then we have elemental resistances chaos resistances plus one to level of all chaos skill gems that's pock okay that's the thing that you need and then if you can craft non-channeling skills have minus seven to total mana cost is very nice because we have it on our amulet and both of our rings uh, our rings we are uh, going for uh, both uh, vermilion uh, rings uh, where uh, we want a strength if we can afford here you see 54 uh, with chaos resistance and curse enemies with despair on hit if you can uh, take it it's very important for your build then on the other side yeah we have pretty much resistances we have life and uh, mana if you can afford then uh, on uh, our pair of gloves uh, we have uh, the crypt gloves that's uh, like the best one because we have increased projectile attack damage um, damage over time uh, cooling strike very nice my friends okay if you can go for calling strike go for it and then increase area of effect you have dealt a crawling strike recently also very nice okay and then increase damage during any uh, flask effect also very nice because we are using all the time uh, flasks okay as i said before then we have our pair of boots where we have uh intelligence life increased movement speed everything uh as you know uh but uh what is very nice about this pair of boots is the chance to gain onslaught for four seconds on kill so that means you pretty much if you're mapping you will have all the time on onslaught where what is very nice then chance to gain elusive on critical strike and uh, increase effect of non-damaging ailments okay and then our uh, belt what is like our pock belt uh, with a lot of resistances that's the belt that uh, helps us to cap all of our resistances increase the damage life and increase chaos damage uh, this belt is really 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 nice and then uh, we are just gonna um, end with our uh, flasks uh, we are uh, having here a jade flask okay on uh, first position uh, with immunity to burning okay on use um, and increased duration what is very very nice as i said while any of your flask is uh, um, is active you do more damage you survive more and so on and so on so very important then we have a quartz flask okay then we have a quicksilver flask then we have um uh, a mana flask okay uh, if you for example you are doing a map mod where you can't gain or you can't uh, um, like recover mana and so on you have this uh, this one this beauty okay and then we have our um um our divine uh, life flask okay uh, that's the one that we are going to use most of the time um because of all the things that are uh, going with it or are triggered with our life flask so i mean that was it with uh, the gear and the flask and now we are going to go for the skill tree and the remainings let's go 
So my friends, uh, here we are at the uh, skill tree and the remainings. We are gonna start with the skill tree and more precisely with our ascendancy where we are um, activating or going for Pathfinder. As you can see, we are activating Natur's uh, Reprisal, Natur's uh, Adrenaline, then we are going for Natur's Boon and uh, we are gonna end up with Master Alchemist. As you can see, everything about our, or is uh, it is all about about the flasks as I said already 20 times in uh, this uh, video then uh, on the skill tree pretty much you will uh, copy or go as uh, my uh, skill uh, skill tree right here um, but what is important to say is the, that we are gonna put the thread of hope right here okay the crimson jewel okay very important here okay uh why because so we can then just go for potency of will without going with the path to it okay very very important then um we are gonna um like go for glorious vanity timeless jewel uh, right here why because it is very nice for the divine flash okay it's very important to survive Okay, because uh, with this uh, uh, timeless jewel, we are gonna uh, just uh, like um, uh, transform uh, this uh, to divine flash. Then on this jewel, pretty much damage over time, increase maximum life, and then intelligence or strength or anything we need as attribute, as always, we are put, uh, taking. Okay, um, here as our uh, cluster jewel, we are gonna go with uh, three at uh, uh, three. Um, mods uh, large cluster jewel okay the broadside the martial prowess and uh, arrow hats but there are pretty much others that are very very nice then medium cluster jewel we have uh, like one with a wicked pole very important and very nice circling uh, oblivion on the other side we have brush with death and unwaveringly Evil, sorry, and then uh, we are gonna activate everything with the cobalt jewel again, increase maximum life damage over time, and we have also some intelligence. But what is very important here is that you put or you take the front line, okay, small cluster jewel, very, very important. This one, okay, uh, because of the veterans awareness, and then we are gonna activate it, okay, very, very nice uh, for us, okay. And then uh, on the other side, pretty much the same thing, a triple mod uh, cl large cluster jewel with increased damage over time with both skills, okay, then uh, two medium ones with wicked pole flow of life and then wicked pole flow of life, as I said, wicked pole very, very important, then here we have um, um, a jewel uh, where you have again damage over time, again maximum life and intelligence, okay and here again chaos damage over time attack speed with bows and increase maximum life i mean um that's pretty much it i mean there is not much much uh to say about the skill tree here also we are gonna uh, take harrier i almost forgot okay um because of our thread of hope crimson and jewel we can take it without even uh spending points to get it okay very uh important uh that um yeah, I mean, uh, for the rest, for the rest, uh, my friends, we are just then go uh, for the remainings. The remainings is the soul of Lunaris. Uh, activated everything uh, uh, what comes with the soul of Lunaris and very important soul of Rislatha because the life flask gain uh, like every three seconds and also increase life recovery from flasks used when on low life so very very important to go for soul of Rislatha so that was it uh, for it and now we are gonna go for how I play it let's go so my friends on how I play it it's actually very very simple on uh, this build the first thing is uh, I activate my clarity I activate malvolence and I activate summon skitterbots okay and that's it 
Okay, then on my left uh, button, I have my move only um, a skill. Okay, then we have Toxic Rain on our middle button. The right side, we have the dash. Then on my Q, I have my Wither, okay, combined with my, uh, with my totem. So whenever I click on it, I'm gonna put two totems uh, every time uh, uh, that is gonna like activate Wither um, to the uh, monsters around. Then we have Blood Rage on E and then our portal. So whenever I, st I start a map, I have my three uh, auras uh, or my two auras plus my Skitta bots that are summoned. Then I'm gonna click on Blood Rage. Okay. And then when I'm going through the map, as I said, always activating or try to activate all the time your flasks. Very important, okay, to have them um, activated. And I spam my sometimes my middle button, my Doxic Rain. Okay, and then uh, my Mirage Archer is gonna just spam um, the Toxic Rain uh, all around me. And then when I go to a Ultimatum or when I'm not mobile, I mean I have to encounter something like a Blight Encounter or I go to a boss, I put down uh, my, um, my totems and then I start to spam my Toxic Rain all going around. And never forget to activate your flasks and when you're playing with blood rage don't forget that you're losing uh, life uh, like over time so don't forget about that that uh, you uh, pay attention to that okay so and now we are done with the how i play it now i'm going to show you a tier 16 uh, map let's go So now uh, we are gonna go for gameplay. As always, I take a tier 16, uh, not juiced map at all, so I'm not gonna influence it. Don't forget that we are also like, uh, we have Awakened 8 um, activated, so uh, the boss is gonna be a bit harder or and more live and so on, but you will see it's not gonna be any problem. So we are entering, we are gonna use our blood rage and we are good to go. Never forget to use our flasks, like all the time actually. And you see, very easy. You see our Mirage Archer like spamming our Toxic Rain all around. Here we are just gonna put like one or two totems and we are good to go. I didn't choose like the best map as you can see it's a bit yeah it's a bit yeah i don't like the layout of this i always get lost on them We are not gonna do the ultimatum, okay? I'm gonna do it after, but otherwise this is gonna be a bit too long. But you can see already how strong this build is. It's a tier 16. Without any problem we do it. And I don't play it very de defensive, as you can see. I uh, go very close to the monsters. So here we are at the mons uh, at the boss. You see, I put one, two times, and there we go. You see, I mean, we don't insta kill, but it takes like one, two seconds, okay, to kill the bosses. I mean, for me, it's pretty much good this build, as you can see. Um, I mean, that was it for uh, this build guide. I hope it was uh, a nice one. I hope you liked it and you're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna try myself uh, this build. And uh, if you do so, please let me know. If you have anything to say about my uh, uh, build guide, 
please let me know. Uh, don't forget to like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more or even more videos in the future. So for the rest, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, nice night and see us on the next video on YouTube or on the next stream on Twitch. So bye, my friends. Love you. Bye.